It gives me great pride to feature another one of our outstanding coaches. A local boy in the islands, Jeff Harada is the head man of the HPU women's basketball team. A 14-point victory over conference rival would be something of a celebration for most coaches. But for third-year head coach Jeff Harada, whose HPU lady basketballers sputtered to the final horn after comfortably leading most of the game, this year the stakes are higher. We've got to understand that now that we're at the top, the target's on our back. And everybody's gunning for us now and people are trying to upset number one. And, you know, with that responsibility, you know, we got to go out and play hard. You know, we got to compete and understand that we got to bring it every single night. We cannot let down because once we do, you know, bad things can happen. So. In his first year as HPU women's head coach, Harada inherited a two-win team coming off its first year of existence. He immediately added six more wins that first year and then took the win total to 14 the next season. And now expectations are even higher. You know, we're fortunate enough to, you know, find the right combination of players, you know, to come in here and, you know, just understand and buy into the philosophy that we're trying to do here. You know, work hard, you know, come in and just want to do something special. And that's what we talk about is, you know, when I recruit, it's just coming here and doing something special and being a part of history. Now, being that first team from Hawaii to win the league, being that first team to, to make it to the NCAA tournament. You know, that's our goal from day one. It's always been our goal. And, you know, I think this year we have that opportunity. You know, the door's open for us. A door opened for Harada in 2004 to come back to the islands after spending the previous 12 in Colorado when he was invited to join the HPU Athletics Administrative Team and continue his love of coaching as an assistant with the men's team. It was also a chance for Harada to return back to his hometown, where as a prep athlete, he was named as his league's player of the year and also as an all-stater in basketball. I fell in love with the game, um, played in high school, you know, and just uh, enjoyed it, had some success, went on to college, and uh, you know, wasn't quite good enough to play at that level, you know. Back then, I didn't, nobody knew about Division II, Division III, NAIA, it was just D1 or nothing. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, still wanted to be involved, you know, with the team and the program up at the University of Colorado where I was at school and had a chance to help with the team out there and uh, learned a lot, you know, been around some good players and just good coaches. and. Was fortunate enough after I left that I uh, was able to get hired, you know, um, on staff there, and it was just, that was the beginning. You won't find many people born and raised in Hawaii working in college basketball, but for the last three years, Harada has been a head coach, right in his own stomping grounds. For me, it was an opportunity to be a head coach, which I always wanted to be. It was kind of a chance for me to see if I could coach, you know, so otherwise I probably need to go find another career. So, um, good opportunity, I decided to take it, and. Uh, been doing that ever since the last three years and it's the third year and I think you know, it's finally starting to pay off a lot of the hard work. So, Harada's passion for the game really shows through when he's on the sidelines and in the huddle leading his team down the stretch, making him pretty easy to spot at Sea Warrior Games. I've also learned that I'm sometimes a little too competitive on the sideline, I guess, you know. Yeah. Um, I know I gotta watch myself with that, but um, you know, I'm fighting for my team, fighting for my girls, and I think that everybody knows it's not personal. You know, it's just the heat of the moment, and I just get really involved in the games, and uh, it's just the competitive side. It's one of the tightest races ever in Pac West women's basketball, and Jeff Harada and his team are right where they want to be, with a big target on their back. And that's the side of Harada he's not afraid to show.